Hello and welcome to the H5P tutorial. Today we will be looking at the creation of the content using H5P and I'm going to show you how to utilize a 360 degree image to create a virtual tour. To begin with, you may register at the h5p.org website and you can then log in and try out H5P. You will be prompted to various content types. We will look at a very specific content type today which creates multimedia content which is the virtual tour. So click on virtual tour. Now there is no content currently available so I have to create new content. So you begin with by clicking on this icon here which says new scene. Now there are various things which you can adjust within the scene itself. One is the behavioral settings. You can upload audio. You can also select the image quality and the rendering based on the bandwidth available to your students. You can select the position of the labels as well as any text override and translations as they may be. So let us begin by creating a new scene. So create a new scene and the scene is today which I'm going to create is called Patawan Island. which is an island in the Philippines and I'm going to add an image from this particular island. Now how do we add images? We have various options. One is to utilize a 360 image which you have created yourself. The other option is to visit websites such as unsplash.com which permits the usage of images. Now please ensure that you acknowledge the authors whenever you utilize images even though they may be in the public domain. Okay, so I have downloaded this image. All you need to do is click on download and you'll download this image. And let's see how we add it to this particular site. Okay, so we add it here. And I have my image. So I open and add it here. I'm going to add a very brief description with regard to the author in order to ensure that the author is attributed. You can also add audio tracks if needed. Okay, while it uploads, we'll click on edit copyright. And here you can add your copyright in terms of the name. So the author is Chris Kuiko. So I'm going to add his name. You can also add the title, which is Patawan Beach. And you can add the link to this from the original website. So I'm going to have these pictures here. So I'll have the link to the website here. And this public domain. And your year is 2020. Now everything is added. So you don't have to add a license version unless you're using a Creative Commons attribution license. Okay, now you close this. And now you can add content to this particular scene. So it's done. So you have your background image. Now the background image as you can see is 360 degrees. It's very beautiful. And you can add new scenes as the case may be. I'm going to add a very small image of this outrigger boat to this particular image. So I'm going to focus on this boat. And I want to add an image. So I have downloaded an earlier image of an outrigger boat. So I add an image and I look for that boat. Okay, I open it and I write here Outrigger Boat. Now this image is in the public domain. And the image of the boat is here. So you can adjust the over text if you want to do it. Outrigger Boat are the mode of transport on Islands. So you have it then. You can add alternative text if you want to, and then you're done. So I click here. Okay, so it requires some options, and you're done. So now we have an image of an outrigger boat over here. Now, what happens is that when you have your student or your viewer clicking here, he or she will see the outrigger boat appearing here once we are done. Now we have this outrigger boat here. Okay. Now let's look at the addition of other content such as video content. 
So if you want to add any video content, you click on the video and you can look for videos online. So I have previously located a video on the Balwak Patawan Island. So I'm going to copy the link here and I'm going to go back to my image here. And I'm going to add the video here. So I click on the link and I add the video URL here. Okay. It's always good to utilize a YouTube link as this will facilitate viewing and there'll be no issues with regard to upload and download speed as compared to when you upload your own video file. So I insert this here and the video limit is here. So I'm going to add this video of Patawan Beach. Okay, the video has been added. I can add some labels. So we'll say Patawan Beach. Okay, now the video is in play. So once everything is done, you can attach, add some kind of other elements such as accessibility, the video, as well as the controls for the video itself. So I'm going to cl click on done because I'm done with this and now I have my beach. So if I need to add my video, I can add it at another point in the diagram. Okay, so we act here. You can also add other elements such as text and audio in this particular image. Okay. Now everything is done and I have my set my starting position so I can set up a starting position at one location here. So when a viewer op opens the site he or she will see this particular starting position here. Okay, so that's my starting position. Okay, now I'm going to give you a brief demo of this. So we have everything in place and we give it a title. So we say Patawan Beach Virtual Tour. So everything is in place. And now it's important to save this. So we click on save. Okay, so while this is saving, we'll have our image ready. Okay, now this image can be embedded in your respective website by clicking on this particular icon here. So you click on embed and you will obtain an embed code. Now this embed code can be copied and integrated with your website. Okay, now let's look at this particular image which we have just created. Now you can see the first trigger over here which is the outrigger board. So if I click on this, I will see an image of an outrigger board. You can also incorporate some text content and when you mouse over you can actually see the content which you have introduced into the mouse over key. Okay. So your outrigger board and then you mouse over and you can see the content with the that it pops up. Okay. Now let's scroll across this image or zoom across and then you go to Patawan Beach and I click here and then you have a video of Patawan Beach. Again, we acknowledge the creators of this video. Okay, so you have a very beautiful video and it plays. So your viewers can actually enrich their experience by interacting with the content on this particular image. So once you're done with this image, you can, as I mentioned earlier, embed it and into your respective websites. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope you can utilize H5P and create content which is shareable. Thank you.